first, I, I sort of discovered the Hastings Center by accident. Um, while I was doing my research over the summer, I read an article um, written by Peter Kramer, who's a psychiatrist who writes about depression, and it was published in, in, one, in one of the publications that the Hastings Center produces. Um, and and I, I was interested in, in a center that's dedicated to bioethics. Um, and, and so I, I looked it up online, found that there is this undergraduate um, sort of research uh, scholar program, um, and I made my, you know, applied, ended up here. I was interested in bioethics because it seemed to be the, the domain, sort of the, the academic arena that would uh, allow me to pursue the kind of interdisciplinary questions that I care about, um, if any such arena were to exist. So I was excited that the, that the, uh, the, that the Hastings Center was sort of bringing together the kind of community of scholars that would support me in my work. And I've absolutely found that this is the kind of community that, that the Hastings Center provides. I've been really grateful for, um, for the sort of graciousness of the scholars in, in sort of allowing an undergraduate like myself to, to join in the conversation um, and to get feedback on, on what paths might be um, useful or fruitful as I continue my research. Now, I'm, you know, I'm just sort of beginning my academic career, and who knows if it's going to be an academic career at all, but, but the, um, the kind of mentorship that, that, uh, that scholars have provided in, in conversation has been really helpful for me. So na namely, Josie Johnson and Eric Perrins have been really helpful in conversation. As I guess I might also say that the Hastings Center has, has encouraged me uh, to pursue questions that I care about. I think I, I've, I've had trouble believing, in the, before I came to the Hastings Center, believing that uh, sort of pursuing work in the philosophy of psychiatry wasn't going to lead me to a dead end. Because you know, I'm, I'm not pursuing a, a certification in the science that I care about. And I'm also sort of splitting my time as an undergraduate between social science courses social theory courses and philosophy courses, so I'm not developing a background in philosophy. The reason has been that I care about certain substantive questions and I want to develop an answer, so I've sort of been following my passion in that sense. It's felt a little bit foolhardy at times when I haven't developed the expertise that a more traditional path would have allowed me to take, but it's allowed me to come to a point where I can see exactly the question that I want to care about. It's been really helpful to have the scholars at the center say, well, that really seems like an okay way to go about things. It sort of that seems like the one of the co-founders of the center, uh, Dan Callahan, I was reading a work, that, a little PC published on interdisciplinarity uh, last night, and it seems that's also the sort of mentality that's motivated him throughout his career. Um, so I think I've found that the ethos of the center has been a very much motivating, inspiring, and, and encouraging um, as I've been here.